Hey, everybody. Hey, everyone. Uh, guys, me and Luke, first of all, let me just stop real quick because I want to dedicate this, uh, this episode, episode 16. I want to dedicate episode 16. 16, right? Mm -hmm. Guys, it finally came in. I'm going to, I'm, I'm just going to do it. I'm going to go ahead and talk about it right now. Just go ahead. Anyway, guys, Northern Knife, I know what y'all are thinking. Ladies, I know what you're thinking. Calm down. Listen to me just for a minute. Northern Knife has finally sent me what I've been waiting on. The Daniel Morrow Outdoors Thanks. official, official knife of Daniel Morrow Outdoors and cooking with Dan and Lou. I know what you're saying. That's not a normal kitchen knife. It's not what you should be using in the kitchen. This is the new thing, ladies. I know y'all are setting your ways. Guys that watch this, I'm telling you, you want one of these. I promise you. You want one of these. This is the Loki. Look at his knife and look at the knife I get to use. <laughs> yeah, we're going to be doing some special things with that knife in a minute. Guys, listen. This is an awesome knife. Uh, yes, I am going to... The, the, they are sponsoring, they are helping sponsor the show this night. So I'm going to give them a shout out probably every single time. Go look this knife up. It's Northern Knife. Uh, you may not want it for yourself, ladies. I get it. But you got husbands or son-in-laws or sons that grill and cook. They're going to want this. All right, let's get to the show. video on nobody's recipe except for ours right stuff that we have actually cooked stuff that we've cooked in the past um, I guess maybe we found a recipe for the beans that we're gonna do at one time before but it's something we've done so many times now we just know it it's been a long time ago. it has been and uh, so you know I told Lou last week or actually this week when we was on vacation I told us mm -hmm. I would like to do my cowboy beans again and uh, it's really funny because some uh, one of one of our our friends sent us a a uh, Facebook deal and said, "Hey, here's a recipe for some for some cowboy beans." And I'm like, "Oh, I really already have my recipe for cowboy beans that I want to do." So anyway, we need uh, to give a shout out though. We did receive a few things in the mail. Okay, yeah, yeah, let's do that. You can go ahead and just. You want me to mess the names up? That's it. Okay. Shara. Shara Risner. 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 Shara Risner. Uh, sent us this cookbook. We actually already found some recipes out of here that we mm -hmm. that we that we like. Uh, so thank you very much for that. Uh, this cookbook does have a few has a few bad words bad in words, it. Bad words, yeah. But uh, I think it's all meant out of fun. So yeah, it's no, not. we're not no offense at all. But thank you so much for this. There's some really good recipes in here. Thank you. And then this is a an electric salt and pepper shaker from Miss Gail Nash. We just, we've been gone almost the whole week, so we're just getting all of our stuff. I'm sorry. Do you realize what's very funny about this? And she also sent us some batteries for the oh, electric salt pepper shaker. Do you know what's, do you know what's funny about this? What? In a way. People constantly say that I put too much pepper and I don't listen. Can I'm you saying imagine? salt and pepper shaker. It's salt and pepper grinders. Yeah, it's sorry. electric, electric grinders. Can you imagine how crazy I can go with an electric grinder? Or I don't have to go... We're not going to do that, though. I'm not going to let you do that. It's going to be awesome. Babe, we didn't finish. It, okay, you have anybody else? Yeah, That's you it. have anybody else? That's it. Okay, before... Uh, Alright, before we get to cooking, we're almost there. Comment of the week. Me and Lou both agreed on this one, too. So, she didn't find one I found when we agreed on this one together. Uh... No, I don't have glasses on. El Mrs. Eleanor James. Mrs. Eleanor James, thank you. Best comment of the week. This is awesome. Good morning, Daniel Morrow Outdoors. I am contacting you for catering food service. My order would be biscuits, biscuits, spaghetti, baked chicken for 24 people. Thank you from the James family. <laughs> uh, I think that is very unique, very uh, creative, because when we cook, we cook for a lot of people. Every time. 
Every time, yeah. Uh, I think maybe one episode we cook for just for a few people, but most of the time we cook, again, everybody's coming tonight. So guys, it's not just beans. We have got cowboy beans and um, blue name, uh, street tacos? Pork street tacos. Not beef street tacos, just pork street tacos. Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, it's uh, thin sliced pork chops. We're gonna cook, we're actually gonna cook them in the cast iron skillet with, with just some butter and some seasoning. Uh, yes, we're gonna cook them super fast on super high heat. Don't worry, it's okay. We've got it under control. Uh, and our, we're gonna get our beans going first. We, that's right, we're still using the, still using the stainless pot. Good oh catch. my gosh. Ooh, let me put this down for a minute for somebody that's hurt. Hey, wait, I have to show them my shirt. Oh, because Lord, it looks like go. my shirt is ripped. It's supposed to be like that, but. Daddy tried to get it off of her and rip it, it up. It says rock and roll world tour. <laughs> Bree actually gave me this shirt because Bree's lost a lot of weight. So this shirt fits me. It's a pretty shirt. So I didn't thanks. Know it but it did there. have holes. It has holes, and I don't want y'all to think I'm just wearing a holy shirt. It's supposed to be like that. Trash. Because I didn't change. We just. We've been doing yard work all day, and then we had to go to the grocery store, so I just took a quick shower and threw clothes on. All right, time's so, ticking. Sorry. So, sorry, okay. No, you're good. You're okay. good. Okay. Uh, let, uh, let's start with the beans, right? Let's start with the beans. Let's get okay. them going. Guys, this is what we're going to do for the beans. Do Daniels. Do full tab openers? Cause... Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Daniel Morrow's Simple Delicious Cowboy Beans. Okay, we're gonna start. We're gonna start with Goya, Goya pinto beans. Pintos. I got the I got the Spanish can, and then there's the English can. <laughs> I was wondering. Uh, I yeah. saw that. I Goya saying. pinto beans. It's the same beans. It's the yeah. same thing. Uh, Goya pinto beans, guys. Uh, very good beans. And what what we do is just dock them up a little bit. I think bit. that pot's too big for that. Little bit of beans, do you think so? Uh, six cans of beans, a can of this bacon. All right, I mean, it it'll be fine. Bit, it's yeah, fine. Well, you gotta put no, we don't. yeah. Okay. So, anyway, beans we got some uh, fire roasted, uh, fire roasted mm. tomatoes, garlic. This is supposed to be your job, this is for the topping. Um, bacon, said that right, bacon. What am I missing? Oh, onion. Calm down, everybody. Jalapenos. I do not side eyes because they're not going to be hot. Lou is going to de-seed them, and they will not be hot. But they're going to add some delicious flavor. Yes, baby? Agree? No. She agrees. I'm not going to agree. Okay, so um, let's get to it, Lou. I guess if you want to. Oh, and we will, uh, <laughs> when it's just about done... We're going to put some cilantro in there, and uh, we need to get cooking. We're going to You're cook, we're going to cook the beans with the cilantro. Let's get them moving. Uh, first, we'll go ahead and get our beans in the pot, and we'll I'm go ahead and start cutting the jalapenos up. Yeah, we'll go ahead and get our beans uh, kind of just warming up, simmering a little bit while we get all of our other stuff going. I don't like the part, Lou, where I'm cutting everything out. Right? That is not... Well, you started doing it, so I just let you yeah, go. Yeah, I know, but that is not, uh, man, I'm so out of my element right now. Can I, will this can opener work on a pull top can? Yes, it's just like can. Okay, I'm we'll see. I'm scared that's going to work me in the eye. That works good. Works good. Spoon thing. That worked good too. So we hope that y'all enjoyed all of our trip pictures and videos. Oh gosh, for that was sure. like the most amazing trip ever. Ever. I know some of y'all live in places like that. That's okay. <laughs> That's okay. All right. Well, I'm just gonna get these kind of on warm. Okay. 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 
may need to put a little bit of water in those beans later. Um, all right, let's get the bacon going first. Watch out for a minute. I'll tell you, watch out this knife. This knife is sharp. I'm not touching that knife. What is this for? That goes in the... Do you need them now? Uh, yeah, well, after I do the bacon. First time using this knife. I'm so excited. Those smell good too. Do these need to be cut up like a different way for you? Are you putting them in there? Yeah, you can put them in there. Then go ahead and do that. This is a uh, thank you so much, Northern Knife. Uh, he is so excited you know, about that knife. Look, I, guys, if you've ever cut bacon, you've never seen you've never seen a knife go through bacon like that right there. That's amazing. You know how All every day bacon. we had waiting on the mail for to come to see if that I, knife came. I wanted to tell y'all about the knife sooner, but uh, I didn't want to like get my hopes up and then they'll you know kind of back out on the deal or whatever that we that we made. So uh, I kind of was just waiting and then we got home from our trip and it was sitting here. I'm like, oh my gosh, I got I did. I got so very excited. And I know, like I say, I know you ladies wouldn't like this, but I'm telling you what, the men in your men in your families, or even if you got people that barbecue and stuff, I mean, they would absolutely love that. We got a new, um, we call it chopper. You want to put all these in there? Or? What, do, wait, what wait, am wait, I doing? Wait, 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 what is that? What? So yes, we did get a new chopper because our rope thing was messed up on it. Yeah, you can put it in there. The onion and cilantro's got to all mix together with that yeah, also, right? Uh, you can take that out, though. It's fine. We are going to make some... Uh, we're going to make our own little style of homemade pico de gallo to go... to serve with our street, our street tacos. Hey, what do you want me to do now? Uh, you chop up this onion, maybe? Oh, you got, uh... You want me to go ahead and put that in the beans? No, 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 no. No, I'm gonna... We're gonna cook all this together first after the bacon cooks. We're gonna cook all this together. Where are you cooking the bacon at? I'm cooking right behind me. Oh, in the electric skillet? I mean... Cast My iron. wife has got a problem with calling the cast iron skillet the electric skillet for some reason. I do not know why. Hey y'all, remember when we used the dishwasher last time? Those dishes are still in there. Don't tell people that. Well, that's why I don't use the dishwasher. That's exactly what I said. It never just unloaded. All right, what do you want to do with this when you chop up some onions? We're going to use a paper plate. Okay. I'll do it. I'll, I got this out for that. I don't have any issue with paper plate, baby. All right, so the bacon's going to render down. Once it renders down, we'll go ahead and we'll put it in with the beans. Uh, then we'll cook all this other stuff up together and let it. We want to stir those beans with something, baby. What do you want? Mm -hmm. Tell me what you want. Same mm -hmm. as We are supposed to. I got them down real low, so they shouldn't be getting too hot. All right, so she's got that. She's got that. She's got that. I'll get this other onion ready for her. This will be the pico onion. Our kitchen is not big enough for both of us to work. Sure it is. Side by side. What? You don't want to touch me? Baby, don't make me say things on this camera that gets people all worked up. I think that's going to be turned up just a little bit more. Okay, you ready for another onion? Well, this is for your beans, right? That's for the beans, yes ma'am. And be now this is going to be, okay, for this. okay, perfect. And then I'll get some cilantro ready for you. To put in there next, or do you want me to get it for you right now and chop it all together? Yeah, but I don't think too. that bowl's gonna be big enough now that I see it. No, that bowl's gonna be pretty big, but it's just that and cilantro. Oh. I 
I know some of y'all don't like cilantro. I've heard how y'all think it tastes like soap. Cilantro is my favorite. So, so very good. Cilantro and lime. Cilantro and lime, that's right. Stir it all together, gonna to really dump that and stir it yep. all together. Okay. Some this, of that cilantro uh, goes in your beans, right? Well, I got a whole other thing of it over I know, here. but beans, that's but what I'm saying. I like, know, this is a ton of I know, that's why I was like thinking. I really, yeah, I think this is gonna be put together. Hold on, no, 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 no. Sorry. We just got this little chopper at Walmart. It was only like street tacos but street tacos is basically just a tortilla it can be corn or flour and and it's the meat beef uh like beef fajita chicken we're making pork and then all you put on it is onions and cilantro and squeeze lime juice on top of it but we're just going to go ahead and mix all our mixture together That's why I said you need to turn them up, baby. I did. Or just keep stirring them. I think we need to add a little bit more cilantro. This looks like more onion than cilantro. No, that's actually you don't not, think so? not a tough look. Now, guys, the secret, the key, the key, you, uh, the must do. You have to put. The must do is the lime. Okay. Not like that. That's not how you do your lime. Hey, lime are hard. <clears throat> You know what we could have done? <gasps> Dang it. What'd you do? We could just use our lime juice. Well, yeah, go ahead, add, add some to it, because it's gonna need a bunch more. I'll do that. I spilt something on the floor. This ain't coming out real good. I have another one, maybe that one's not no, open. This, this is fine, if you want to stir that up a little bit. I got this all over my hands. I'm gonna go ahead and put these other two in that, but stir it up with it first, maybe. Well, don't over, like, bear with, or what do you no, call you it? Can't. What's the right word? Overbearing? The overbearing with the... Yeah, with the lime. Okay. We got too many things going on here. We gotta get those. Okay, I think that's probably enough. Yeah, that's plenty. Okay, that's done. Baby, let's dump this. Oh, this is getting hot now. I wouldn't. Okay, I'll turn it up. I, right I know, but I think we should turn it down. Where's, where's our pot handle? Oh, my God. All right, what are you doing now? Putting that I'm in here? Dumping it in there. The grease and all? The grease and all. Uh, oh, let it pop me. Oh, let me have this. Grease and all. Grease and all. You ready? I need that. That's good. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Now, we got that done. Let's come over here. Ooh, doggy. Done. Sorry. Okay. Stir it in. Good. Oh, I was supposed to put this with that, huh? Huh? Was I supposed to put this with that? The cilantro? Yeah. No. 
I was, normally, normally I put the slot drill in kind Last. Of, yeah, right there. Yeah. Oh, I like that. Okay. So guys, we're just going to render this. We're just going to, I don't know if render is not the right word. We're going to cook this down a little bit. And uh, we're going to add some garlic. It's already 7.45. I know, we need a little salt and pepper. Everybody's going to start being here. We got salt and pepper. You haven't made the right there beside you. Lord, I just dumped the butt coming out of this thing. I don't know why it does that. I don't care if it does that with a pepper. I do. All right. Turn this up a little bit more. Get this flowing. Baby, the beans need to kind of boil. We may even just add a little oil. No, they'll loosen up when we add this other ingredient. But we need to, I'm going to put it on medium. Yeah, we're, this is, ah, wow, that's hot. What did you do? Oh, that's hot. Splashed on me. Okay. So we don't need that cilantro? No. All right, I'm gonna add the garlic now. We're not measuring anything here, guys. Uh, we're just gonna have to do this for taste. Uh, I don't have a... That's a lot of garlic. No, it's not. I don't have a written recipe for this anymore. I used two years ago Boy, that garlic smells good. Yeah. I know, baby. I'm trying. Why did you get another one of those out when we had one right here? See, you smell that garlic. Can I use that for a minute? Yeah. I, you've got to get this stuff off the edges. Sorry. Mixed in with that. Oh, yeah. That does look good. What you're doing, it looks really, really good. <coughs> All right, baby. we got to pour this... We gotta get this now in there to the beans. You wanna just I mean to pour it like we did the last ones or yeah. what? <clears throat> yeah. Alright, you take that. one of those. Ready? You got it? Don't drop that on us. Let's come around this. Uh, yeah, come around this side. Well, maybe. Let's hit the cabinet. Hold on. I'm hurrying. You okay? Yeah, I'm good. Hope my uh, head ain't right in y'all's okay, way. Okay, good. Okay. Uh, I gotta set this to the side somewhere. Turn this off for a minute. Uh, what can I do with that? Stick in the oven for now. Stick in the oven for now? Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm not quite ready to, ready to cook yet on there. Alright, that's off. We're good. <clears throat> hey, my hands are messed up. Can you do the pepper, salt and pepper? Be. Sure can. Come on, put some on there. Actually, no, we don't need salt because there's already salt in the seasoning. I think there's probably pepper in the seasoning. No, there's yes, no pepper there is. in the seasoning. Yes, there is. Seasonal. Yes. I've read trust Seasonal me, I've read, is seasonal. I've read, I've read the ingredients, baby. No pepper in there. I really never read the ingredients. I know you know. We've done it our whole lives. Okay, well, I actually add garlic to it. Yeah, we, and you can. I don't care. We got garlic. Yeah, well, I think we got plenty of garlic it's in fine. Yeah. The beans are looking delish. What? There's none on there, baby. Then pepper your own when you get it done. Mm -hmm. I'm going to hear 3,000 people say that this we week. We need to get the skillet going. Okay, go ahead, yeah, go ahead. Don't burn me with it. I know what you're trying to do. You want me to go ahead and put the butter in it? Uh, yeah. Uh, well, just watch the pepper those real quick. Huh? That's good. That's not good. Is it? 
season all good. All right, guys, we're just gonna cook these in the grill. I mean, on the cast iron skillet, no, just do one butter now. And I'll see how it goes. Then we'll maybe add another one for the rest of them. Uh, butter and, and pork chops. So then they're not going to cook for very long either. They're going to go fast. What are you doing with that knife now? Are you done with the season? Uh, yeah. What do you want to cook those with? My meat turner. Some people may call these fried pork chops. I don't consider these fried. And uh, yes, I'm using unsalted butter so that it doesn't burn. Not saying so it won't burn at all, but it don't burn easily. Finish melting though. There. Beans are looking delicious. Lid on those. Don't let them burn. I don't want them to burn, but they're on medium. You'll have to just keep watching them. Guys, if you don't own one of these, uh, get you one of these because this is the best meat turners ever. I need this pan to get a little bit hotter. I've done these two ways before. I've done them kind of on the cast iron and then taking them out to the grill and sear them real good. And that may be what I want to do now, too, Lou, to be honest with you. Leave them here for a little bit and flip them. And then flip them? What do you mean? Flip them and then, well, then take them out the grill just like a minute or two on the side. Mm -hmm. Explain real quick what we're going to do with the tortillas. Um, I... Just wrap them in a wet paper towel. And that keeps them from breaking, right? You're gonna put them in a wet paper towel and heat them in the microwave for a minute, you said? Yeah, about a minute. And that keeps that, the only the only the corn ones. Yeah. The dry ones. Nope. Yeah, it smells good. Yeah, it smells yeah. pretty good. We're just running late. We're sorry. Okay guys, we are finally done. I gotta cut the meat up. And uh Lou, I don't know. Everything else is good, right? Yep, I got the tortillas done. I am displaying this awesome knife for these guys right now. I need to taste this. Phenomenal. Mm -hmm. I keep losing my glasses in front of my face. I got them. <laughs> okay. You got a little bowl to put this meat in, baby? Just a second. Beans ain't burnt? I guess you can turn them off now. <coughs> They're done. Phenomenal. Phenomenal. Yeah, nobody may come. I mean, Gina, it's, it's kind of late tonight. Gina may not even come. Uh, Kim may not come. She's still sick, I think. I know my kids are coming. Buddy's here. Buddy's here. Someone said tacos. Mm -hmm.
Buddy. Yes? You have not said a word. You have not said a word about my new knife. Well, I didn't want to interrupt your video, but that is an awesome knife. Isn't that awesome? Where did you get that? Northern, Northern knife. But they but uh, Damascus not. still, right? Yes. They they are actually sponsoring my show with a knife. What? Yeah. So nice. uh, and they told me if they if if we liked it that they would send Leanne one uh, also. Wow. Well, hey, I really like it, and I'll take. <laughs> Bye. Believe it or not, you can use, if you go to their website. I got to figure Bye, out what it is. You can like, you know, use my name or something, and you can get a ten yeah, percent discount. Please. I got some more. It's like a bottle. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Perfect. 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 Yeah. Perfect. 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 Tastes like they come off the street. I got this stuff. And There's this corn or flour tortillas. Daddy, yeah. I said that we could have made um barbecue steak. Yeah. <laughs> it's <like> apple pie. <laughs> Give me your. You're, You're checking out my knife right now, ain't you, Jake? Yeah. Oh, Jake's checking out the knife. Not right now. Happy. Where's Cash and Laramie? Well, we didn't. Well, consult with your grandfather about that, not me. All right. You put it in there or he did? He told me to put it in there and I wasn't going to take it back to my shed that I had just worked to get it out of. And he said he didn't have the place ready for it yet. I'm so tired. And he said he'd move it out there in the next couple of days when he had a Wait, catch up. Guys, just real quick, I want to show y'all what it looks like, kind of. There's the beans. That's somebody's half-eaten street taco. There's Alyssa's brand new street tacos. Mm -hmm. There's the beans. Jacob, you haven't even taken a bite yet, oh. so don't even start. <laughs> Buddy, how are the beans? So good. So Wait, Brianne tastes the beans. Oh, you, that's cheese, girl. Yeah, because that is cheese, nothing but cheese. Don't do that. All right, tell the truth. Stop it, That is nasty. <laughs> I will cut you out of this video. Hello. All right, everybody. Papa. What do you think? Okay, hold on. It was good, Dan. The only problem is you hid the hot sauce until I was through. That is true. I did do that. Sorry. But it is a great dinner. What about the What about the beans, Pop? Uh, you know what I want to ask you about the beans. They were good. I didn't think you had it in you to make those kind of beans. But you've done a good, a good job. Uh, this here tacos and this what onions, cilantro, onion, cilantro, and lime juice. And uh, a bunch of lime juice. It's delicious. Yeah, that is gone. So you're good with it. I'm great with it. Yeah. Uh, buddy. I was not a fan, so I went ahead and made me some <laughs> pizza lunchables. <laughs> Just kidding, these are cards. But, buddy, okay. buddy was helping Carter make Lunchables. <clears throat> no, it was so good. Beans were on point, a little bit of spice to them. Tacos, man, that fork was juicy, delicious. Lou, how many, how many jalapenos did we chop up? Four. Was it hot, baby? No. Were the beans hot? No. They had the perfect amount of spice, didn't they? Yeah. Perfect amount. It was perfect because every time I have Takis, it's like, hey, can I have one? Takis? Yeah. She's talking about the spice. We are talking about a food, a real food. Bree, what is the matter with you? You've been sitting with your head down forever. Did you die? <laughs> I passed out because I was so full, but by the time you got to me, I almost fell asleep. All right, so what's up with it? How was it? It was good. I only had beans, but they were good. This is not my second plate. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, promise? He had to eat again because he threw the first one up. <laughs> Jacob did say I was really proud of him. He said, I don't typically like beans, but I do like these beans. Lissa? This, this is my third taco. Third taco? Third plate. Will you also have uh, cereal in the middle of the night tonight? Hey, probably. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's her dessert. All right, guys, listen. We finally made a meal. That was just 100% not on a recipe, just what we've come up with. We've been making these beans for several years. Of course, the street tacos, you just can't go wrong. Why is this the first time I had them? You never Why? had these because beans before? Was little, eat stuff no, like not when they was little. We've made these beans the last couple of years, but I typically do them like at Rendezvous no. or something like that. Yeah. We've made them longer than the last Look. couple of years. Look. 
They well, were I don't know. Made these. Well, here's the first argument. Know. Congratulations, you almost made it. <laughs> <laughs> no. I told Lou, I said we cooked this whole meal and didn't even argue tonight. Now we have because I don't agree with her. <laughs> anyway, all right, guys, listen, try them out. The street tacos are those are the easiest things you'll ever cook. I did take them out to the grill to finish them off. Cooked them in the butter and the uh, cast iron skillet for a while or for a little bit. Oh, one more thank you. One more thank you to Northern Knife. Why is my thumb in the way? Uh, guys, check these folks out. Honestly, awesome knives. Like I say, you may not want one for yourself, but for a son or son in law or husband, be a perfect gift. Anyway, catch you guys later. Thank you all for joining us.